In our core laboratories, we monitor the calling of critical values um, on a daily basis. This is a, a requirement by our accreditation bodies um, as well as a best practice for, for our laboratory. When we encounter a critical value, um, we have a certain time period in which we need to reach either the provider or a healthcare provider taking care of that patient in the laboratory. In review of this data on a daily basis through a daily management system, we identified a trend that our critical values were not being called in a timely fashion. And once we delve into the root cause of this, we understood that our critical value procedure had some variation in it. It was not standardized and it was not easy to read. It was 22 pages long. It made it very complex for a technologist working on the off shift to quickly make a decision on what do I do next? What do I do when I can't get in contact with that first line provider? So typically during the day, it's very easy to get a hold of a provider or a care physician for a patient when a technologist encounters a critical result. But what happens if that first line provider is unavailable? So our procedure outlined an escalation process that was 22 pages long. And so what we did was we broke down each step and said, we have a few different streams in which we can contact a provider based on whether it's an inpatient, an ER patient, or an outpatient. And we created a dynamic flow chart that a technologist could simply reference. Instead of 22 pages, all information can be found on one page. So it's a quick decision making. Is it an inpatient? Yes or no? Go down to the next box. Who do I call first? So if it's an inpatient, they can call our um, providers on the floors. If it's an outpatient, they can make contact with the provider in the clinic. And this flowchart also dictated what we can do in the after hours situation. What do I do when I can't get a hold of that provider? It tells, us, tells the technologist how to contact the on-call physician. What if I can't get in call to contact with the on-call physician? It tells the technologist who to call next. So we had this escalation procedure reduced from a 22-page document to a one-page document. And we were able to achieve our target for calling turnaround times within a more um, timely manner to the provider.